I'll be showing you how you can create a buy button for your Shopify store. This is basically gonna allow you to create a button one click and make it super easy for customers to purchase your product. The best part about this button is that you can embed it on different types of pages. Maybe you wanna do it on your About Us page or on a different website in general. So I'll be taking you step by step here on how to actually create one and set one up. Let's start from your Shopify dashboard. What you wanna do is go down to settings in the bottom left. You then wanna open up apps and sales channel. And from here, it's gonna show a link to the Shopify app store as we'll need to first install the app if you don't have it already. If you click this link here, it will open up the Shopify app store. You can also just open it up directly, but we will need that other page so I thought to go through there. Now you're gonna to wanna to search for buy button. It should be the first result and it's gonna be Shopify's own free app here. So next you just wanna hit add app and install it. If you're okay with the terms and conditions, hit add sales channel. Next, if you go back to the page we were just on, apps and sales channels, you should see the buy button sales channel here. So if you click into it, you can then go to the top right and go to open sales channel. This will open up the app here. If you had just installed it, it will also open up directly. So to create your buy button, let's go through the process by clicking create a buy button. You're gonna have two options. You can create one for a single product. Alternatively, you can create it for a collection. So a customer can then click on that button and then view all the products within the collection. It's gonna depend what you're looking to advertise here, but let's go with the product buy button. So I'll hit that here and you can then select the product you want to show up under that buy button. I'll select this hot glue gun here then hit select. From there we'll get several options on what we want. Select here we get the layout style. So this is going to be the style of the button. So this is going to be classic displayed here. If we select basic it's just going to show the button and in full view it will show the image of the product, a description, as well as the buy button. I'm just gonna go quickly update the stock as it is out of stock here. So I've just updated that quickly so it looks a little nicer now. Next, you can select the action when people click. So you can add the product to the cart or you can actually send them directly to the checkout. I wanna take a moment to mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time metrics on how profitable your store actually is. It's going to enable you to make better business decisions as you have a true understanding of your metrics. It's also going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts such as Facebook, Google, Snapchat, TikTok, Pinterest, and more. There's a link in the description to access the app listing. You can also search profit calc in the Shopify app store and look for this logo in the top left here and that'd be searching for profit calc both of which get you access to a 15 day free trial so you can check everything out for yourself this can be advantageous if you're maybe using a different landing page you don't really need the customer to add it to the cart as it might be the only thing you're selling something to note is you do get a third option if you're using a different layout style that doesn't show the description you can also send the customer to the product details so that's the overall layout and action let's move next to the button settings we need to get customizability on the corners, so you can set how rounded they are. As you can see, I've made them quite rounded here. You can also set the button width. Let me go for a full width so it's gonna stand out on the page a little more. Next, we can set the background color. I'm just gonna leave this as green here as it's gonna to default to the settings for your Shopify store. As for button text, I'll just leave the font size and the font style the same. You're also gonna get customization on the layout of the image as image size, as well as the color of the title text here, as well as the font and font size. Now this is gonna change again. So if I go and select the different options here, it's gonna show up a little differently in terms of the full options I can customize. For example, if I change it to add product to cart, I can then edit the shopping cart settings by customizing things such as the heading, the subtotal, the additional information, as well as the checkout tech. For simplicity's sake, I'm gonna leave this direct to checkout here and move on to the advanced settings. And you can set it to either open a pop-up window or redirect in the same tab. I'll leave it as opening up in a different window and then I'll go back here and I'll go to the top right for next as we'll then move on to how you can copy the code and then input it onto any web page. As we can see there's quite a bit of code here but I wouldn't worry about all that. I would just focus on clicking the copy code button this is going to make that process easier. Now if you are embedding it on a WordPress, Squarespace or Wix blog it's going to show you an additional tutorial. But let's just go and paste this on one of our existing pages on our Shopify store as an example. So again now on our Shopify dashboard let's go to online store in the left hand side go down to pages. From there I'll open up just this test page here and the way to embed this is you want to embed the HTML not under this text format here but you want to go into these two triangle brackets and if you hover over it it should say show html so i want you to click on that then before this text here 
I'm just going to press control V or command V if you're on a Mac. And that's going to copy and paste that JavaScript in there. And then I'll hit save. You won't see anything here as it is going to all be done in JavaScript. But if you click view page, we can view what this is going to look like. And there it is. That's our buy button here. And now we can test if it's working as we set it to direct checkout. So if we click buy now, you can see that I set it up to open up in a new window. And now I can see the checkout section or this buy button. So in a nutshell, that's how we set up the buy button for your Shopify store. Hopefully this video helped explain the process and you have a much better understanding or if you followed along, your buy button should now be set up. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. I wanna take this moment to mention Profit Calc one more time, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. There's a link in the description below to access the app listing, if you also search Profit Calc in the App Store, that's the Shopify App Store, and you look for this logo in the top left, you can find it there as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.